Sure. Welcome back to this perfume channel. Today, Matty's going to react to 12 Zara perfumes. Are they any good? Are they impressive or are they just boring? He's brutally honest, so you know that you'll get his really honest opinion. I'm not looking at the name, so I'm not going to be suggested by what, what I'm going to be smelling. Oh, not my favorite, straight okay. away. I don't even know what the name of this one is yeah. because they all look the same. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah. It's, it's, it's okay, it's a nice fragrance. It, if I was going to smell this fragrance on you, oh, yes, it's, it's okay, but nothing impressive, very normal. Very normal fragrance. I don't know. I'm just gonna give it a five between, like yeah. between from zero to ten. It's a five. It's so a... it's better to smell like this than not smell at all. But it's <laughs> yes, not. Yes, I will say so. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. yeah good point. I mean, mm, very flowery. So this is flowery, called okay. a nude bouquet. So if you love flowers, you'll probably really enjoy this one. Mm -hmm. I think it's like a nice fragrance. Next one, I'll give you this and I'll smell it. Oh wow. Okay. Ooh. No, no, I'm not sure. It smells like some sort of candy. Okay. Could you apply a little bit more? Yeah, mm -hmm. maybe. It smells a bit weaker for me. It is a bit lighter of a scent. I don't know what to say about it. It doesn't even smell like a proper perfume. Okay. What does it smell like? So we're doing groceries and I'm smelling something. Yeah, some sort of can candy. Okay, candy. So a bit more like edible for you. Yes, probably good scent for a teenager. Okay, this is called a vetiver pamplemousse. So, <laughs> like, it just doesn't match my description <laughs> at all. <laughs> but that's what you're getting from it. This one is very citrusy, I would say. Uh -huh. Citrusy, uh, but I get what you mean. It's candy. Very, very playful. Yeah, very playful. Mm. It's sort of a summer fragrance. Yeah, 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 yeah. Mm -hmm. So this one, did you rate it out of 10? Uh, yeah, I'm gonna rate it four. Okay, even worse than the last one. Mm -hmm. And it was quite light because I had to reapply it. Yeah, I'm grabbing the one uh, before and it smells more like a perfume. Okay. So you prefer 100%. that one? 100%. Okay. I, I, I prefer the first one, yeah. Next one. Oh, sorry, should I give it to This one is nicer. I'm giving it a seven kind of on the spot. Okay. It resembles uh, Chance Autant, but it's not quite there. That's why I'm giving it seven, maybe eight, maybe actually even eight. It's nice. See, he's good. He knows Chance Autant, and this is a dupe for Chance Yeah, it's, I, I can tell. I can tell that it's it's trying to be Chance Autant, but, but <laughs> I, know, I know the other one very well. Mm -hmm. That's why I'm like, this is not Chance Autant, mm -hmm. but it's going there. Okay, eight. No, it's got to be strong eight. Okay. Yes. So very nice. So for a killer. I really like this as a dupe. I think it's doing a great job. Yeah, yeah. But so so for this one is a killer and it is going to be hard to beat. We've got about 10 more fragrances. But uh, I, I can imagine this is going to be number one. Next one. Yeah, you know, after the Chanel, Chanel Chance Autant dupe, this one is now coming close to it, so I'm giving it five again. Maybe if that was to be a first fragrance, it, it didn't, it wouldn't receive five. Mm -hmm. It would probably be six, maybe even seven. But it's just unfortunate that it's after the other one. But it smells a little bit like a toilet refreshener as well. Now when I'm smelling it, so it smells maybe lower quality because with uh, scents for like the bathroom or often like those scents, maybe like because they put certain scents in those sort of products, so then we associate them, but also sometimes they're just lesser quality. So mm -hmm. maybe you're smelling the quality, but I don't know, tell me. No, it just resembles as some something that I would spray in, in toilet. Like uh, accidentally, I just entered the uh, toilet for women somewhere. <laughs> and this like, is what it's like. Yeah, <laughs> that's how it smells. It's woman cherry, so not very impressive, but still <laughs> more impressive than not a perfume, but. Yeah, I would say. Oh, this one is interesting and I like okay. it. Very, very positive reaction. This one is also eight. Okay. Yes, it's very good. I know it's not uh, like Chanel Chance Autant, but still together with apple juice. Totally different scent though. But this one very is more good. sophisticated, more classy maybe. I don't know, more smart. Okay. We'll put together mm -hmm. one, yeah. I like it very much. If I, was going to, if I was going to smell it in a woman, I'd be like, impressive. this woman smells really nice. Okay. This is a rose gourmand, mm -hmm. and this is a dupe for one of the Montal fragrances, mm -hmm. the coffee one, the purple mm -hmm. bottle. 
forgot the name. Yeah, I'm just. I think I should be more gracious uh, rating the, these two fragrances. I mean, mm. this should be nine. It's very good. Both apple juice and uh, rose gourmand. Rose gourmand. Excellent okay. sense. No, no. I have to. Yeah, I have to. Mm-hmm. For a Zara perfume, like yeah, exactly. You're going to Zara, yes. and you're paying like twelve pounds. No, for... get this, get this one and apple juice so far, killers, really both of them, yeah, really, really good. good. I'm giving it a nine, hundred percent, very nice. Another great scent. See, Zara is doing well. Yeah, it's doing well. This one is eight for sure. What, what's the name? So I can. It's called Ebony Wood. Ebony Wood. And it's a Joe Malone collaboration. So Joe Malone did a collaboration Very nice. with Nice. This woman is unique. Okay. This woman is. Mm-hmm. She's not mainstream. She see. She's got more taste even than apple juice. Okay. Because apple juice is just this pretty woman, and she is just feminine. Like Attra- mainstream. Yes, maybe, attractive yeah. feminine woman. That's what yeah. I'm imagining. But this one is, she has more style. She... I think it's not niche. Uh, mm-hmm. Yeah, for one, sure. Definitely. That's what I'm saying this, that it's more, you know, she researched more. <laughs> yeah, into perfumes. Yeah. She's more into fragrances, I'd say. <sighs> and she just really, really wants nice. to impress. And mm-hmm. this is my favorite from like all of these. Oh, is it? I, yeah, I yeah, love yeah, it. Yeah, I, I, I agree. I, I actually, it's a top I think it smells a bit more masculine and a bit more like unisex, a slightly bit masculine. That's why I mm. love those kind of fragrances on women. Mm-hmm. I think this is super attractive and I'm straight. I'm, I'm like, yeah. I'm not gay. It's yeah. just, it's... Ve- I think it might be because like all of the designer perfumes, they always like go for like sweet, same, same. <laughs> and this gives you like difference. Like you smell different. You did, I, did I score, did I rate this? I don't know. I'm rating it, if I wrote, uh, rated uh, eight before, I'm rating it nine and a half now. This is the best. Ebony wood, girls. Ebony wood. I'm putting it here. Deck. Next up. Oh, this is a dupe for Baccarat Rouge 540. <laughs> Extrait de parfum. It is, yeah. but it's, it's great. Uh, I love this. I'm yeah. rating it uh, seven. Um, I would rate it eight, but because I know they duped uh, Baccarat, I'm punishing them and I'm giving it a seven, <laughs> but really? still. Excellent, excellent, very nice scent. Obviously, I know the original, that's why I'm comparing it. But if I was to like not be fragrance aware, we have 600 fragrances here on, on the side, but then I would be like, This is so cool, this is so nice. Like, it's really nice, and it can be really sexy as well. So, if you're looking for some, it's called Red Temptation. R- come on, there you go, the <laughs> name, name is appropriate. So, if you're looking for a cheaper really sexy fragrance go to zara and get yourself this yeah, one yeah it's a really good you mm-hmm. okay now we have bottles we I'm haven't sprayed s- these ones i'm getting serious now do, i do, don't do. think it's gonna beat ebony wood but and so far Rose you Gourmand. like you yeah like it's very, very good much. very good fragrances zara smashing it zara mm-hmm. this smells like a typical designer perfume that i can't distinguish between one from the other because they all do the same thing but it's but good. It's good. Yeah. It's good. It, but it's good. So it's because like, if you're thinking like this is designer and this is then it's good. High street, very you know affordable. Then yes, hundred percent. It's doing its job. <laughs> so I can imagine most of women would love this. Mm-hmm. It's called red vanilla. Mm, just a no-brainer everyday fragrance for a woman. Very sweet, kind of like just any designer like pretty perfume. <laughs> this mm. is it. Oh, really good. I'm I'm rating it six. Maybe it should. Give it six and a half, maybe seven, but yeah. yeah. Really good one. Yeah, but, yeah, very good everyday sense. This one. Uh, you haven't sprayed. <laughs> Nothing yet. Uh, what do you think? Paper. Is it called paper? We actually have fragrance called paper. Do we? Yeah. yeah. Two. <laughs> yeah. Wait for it a bit. Okay. Feel... Wait for it, like some sort of. Wait for tic- it. Some sort of TikTok. <gasps> Wait for it. I just realized this is how um, Ivy women's bathroom smells. Um, you see, let's see. I don't know. If, maybe you just spoiled it to me because I'm, I don't want to imagine bathroom now or toilet, but no, still. No, but Ivy's bathroom smells really nice. <laughs> okay, I didn't go to a women's uh, Ivy's <laughs> yeah, bathroom, but the men's one actually was smelling nice as well. <laughs> <laughs> we are weird, guys. But I don't know if you're the same. Like, do you notice if like a hotel or a bathroom or something smells nice? Are you those people that are like, oh my gosh, it smells nice? Uh, this is uh, nice. Actually, better than the one before. Okay. A bit more feminine to to me mm-hmm. but no what i mean feminine is a bit more like a bit more attractive than the other one okay 
She is not fake. The other one is fake. The other one, this girl, Red Vanilla, mm -hmm. the one that we, that I rated before, mm -hmm. she's got like fake lips. Okay. <laughs> Very specific. This girl, she, 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 doesn't, doesn't. she doesn't care about that stuff because she doesn't have to do anything extra because she knows she's amazing and she is more natural. Okay. That's what I'm smelling. That's it, yeah. And what's the name? Uh, this one is called Femme, so woman. Yeah, so this one is much more of a natural mm -hmm. scent. Yeah, I would say the other one is a bit more sweet and musky. So you feel like maybe it's more like this party girl mm -hmm. a bit more than oh, this maybe one. that's why I, yeah. I see fake lips. <laughs> <laughs> Next the... up. Oh, no, don't tell me the name. Maybe I'll just smell We've got first. a lot of Zara perfumes, guys. If you want to see more perfume reviews, let us know what brand we should do. Nothing special, nothing. Even though it says Oriental now, I read it on the bottle. It doesn't impress me. And by the and way, I just I just wanted to make mm -hmm. a note is that they do change the bottles of perfumes. So just go by the name because sometimes mm -hmm. they just put them in different bottles. Mm -hmm. Just five. Average, nothing. I have nothing to say about it. Obviously, if a woman was to be smelling like this, it's as you say, it's better than nothing. Mm -hmm. But it's, yeah, I'm not impressed. Average, so yeah, five? Very, very average, yeah, five or even maybe four. Did you rate the previous one? I think I did. Okay. Uh, no, maybe not. I was thinking about it though. <laughs> Seven and a half, I was going to say. Very Fun. high. Mm -hmm. Very, very high. Next one, I've smelled it before, but I need a reminder. Yeah, and you need to see like how it does with all of these. Mm -hmm. How Just it compares, compares to the rest. Yeah. Oh, it compares nicely. Dang, they are good fragrances. <laughs> you kind of don't want them to be because exactly. they're copying. <laughs> you just read but, my mind. Yes. Yeah, but they are good. And like, uh, I've owned loads of Zara. I don't want to admit when we started, I was like, I was actually happy. Okay, I'm not impressed. I'm happy. It's just Zara. It's cheap. No, we we want something more sophisticated. But it actually, job. they are doing a great job. Yes. And this one is another like sort of seven, eight kind of a fragrance. It's rich, warm, addictive from so, there. It smells like niche. Mm, I think they're copying like It niche. is addictive. I want to keep smelling this, so... It smells like a pudding to me. Like custard, caramel. Ugh, yeah. Just very delicious. Absolutely, yes. It's delicious. I would like to... If you, rich, were, if you were to warm. be wearing this, I'll be like wanting mm. to be here all the time. And just like... <laughs> <laughs> Eight. I'm okay. like, I can't believe I'm saying this. The last one. Yeah, the last one. And I know this and I love it so much. that I, So it's not going down for I don't want to, I don't want to do so that. Bad. I want to say, yeah, Sarah, it's cheap. Don't buy it. Go yeah. and buy something quality. But but this is, to really me, nice. this smells masculine. So if you, because it's, it's just, for me, it's pure leather. Mm -hmm. It smells like a leather jacket to me. If you're a woman who likes that kind of stuff, then go and check out then the men's section yes. of Zara Perfume. Is this actually from men's section? I think I bought it just from a general section because here where we live, we've got separate shops for like Zara men and it's just Zara. Um, but I would say this would probably be categorized more of a men's cologne. But if you're a woman and you love the scent of leather and you want to smell like leather, just Get yourself this yeah. one and it's it's very attractive i would yeah, say yeah super attractive i must say it doesn't last though and mm. i wouldn't be surprised if most of them yeah, they are don't. not long lasting so i think it has to be said yeah um, i think this i know from from experience you, you see that how much is gone mm. i i used it and i know that it after a while i'm like am i still even having any fragrance on yeah. myself you need to i think get like a travel version as well and just reapply it on the go because yeah with all of these they don't last they last like three to four hours max five mm -hmm. so you really have to i mean you're getting a cheaper fragrance so uh -huh. you can apply more of it exactly. just like put that into the price or get the real thing if you want it to last. For example, Baccar Rouge dupe will probably last more, but, yeah, but not as gonna... long as the real thing uh, because the real thing lasts days. <laughs> yeah, and the real thing costs also so a lot. So yeah, yeah, but I would still say it's 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 worth it's worth it. It's worth a try getting a fragrance like this. Yeah, for they're that, good ones. For, for that price tag. Yeah, especially if you look at the Joe Malone collaboration with Zara their perfumes are really really good 
Mm. And Dermal and perfumes, most of them don't last as well. So like you can get one from Zara and smell amazing as well. So mm. that's a good tip for you. Yeah, I'll try to link all of these down below, but you know, Zara, Zara likes to switch things up and make them really not possible mm. to shop. So I'll try my best to link at least the best ones that you uh, liked. So you loved Apple Juice, which is a dupe for yes. Chanel saint -Sautendre. Uh, gourmand a lot. something. Yes, Rose Gourmand, which is a dupe for uh, Intense Cafe by Montal. And I was impressed by Ebony, Ebony Wood. Ebony Wood. Red Temptation, which is a dupe for Baccarat Rouge. And Femme was also pretty good. And Femme, yeah. Femme, sorry. And Rich Warm Addictive. Yeah, so, <laughs> so many actually. So quite a lot of Man. them actually. <laughs> yeah. So there are some that are just okay, but there are some that are really impressive. Mm, yeah. So which is your favorite? Say? I'm gonna say Ebony Wood. Okay. Ebony Wood number one. Same as me. You're copying me. <laughs> <laughs> Am I? Yes. Mm -hmm. Unique, sophisticated. Yeah. Oh, what? <laughs> mm -hmm. This is not a perfume that all the women out there will go for. Mm -hmm. So you're gonna smell unique. And I don't think this is a dupe. Mm. It, it is just a Jo Malone collaboration. So as well, like you're getting something <laughs> a bit Super more. Super nice. Don't waste your time. Go and buy yourself this one. <laughs> <laughs> Let us know what other brands we should react to and buy. Like, are you interested in the Sol de Janeiro, for example, perfumes? Do you want us to do all Victoria's Secret perfumes? Anything like that? Let us know in the comments. And give Monica a thumbs up. And we'll see you in the next one. Bye. Bye.